Hi people, my name's Daniel, I'm an artist and maker and I work at the South Bank Centre with groups to help them explore exhibitions and make their own interpretations of it. Today, for Earth Day 2020, we'll be looking at the most recent exhibition from the Hayward Art Gallery, Among the Trees. This is the first video in a series of three that responds to the Among the Trees exhibition at the Hayward Gallery and we're releasing it in time for Earth Day 2020. The Among the Trees exhibition has over 30 international artists that have been making artwork, some of it going back 50 years, since the time really of the environmental movement. It's looking at the relationship between humans and the arboreal life, about trees around us, the way trees and humans interact. And today we're going to be looking at photography and really the passage of time. Artists that look at how time is represented in trees or how the relationship between humans and trees changes over time. If you do make any work in response to these activities, please do share them with us using the hashtag among the trees and you can tag us using our different social media tags that are listed at the end of the video. Anyway, let's go on with the video. The exhibition includes a number of artworks that deal with time in different ways. This one is an animated grove of birch trees called Blind Eye One by Steinkamp. Over a few minutes you see an accelerated year-long period of the cycle of the tree's life, going through all the different seasons with the leaves coming and going. Leonard's artworks show the interaction between nature and the man-made. So here a tree has grown through its neighbouring fence. As the trees got older, the bark has expanded and the fence has become internal to the tree. One of my favourite artists is Pannoni. And here we see the inside of an old tree. It's been whittled back by the artist and his assistants to reveal the tree at an earlier stage in its life. So here we have a young tree from a longer period ago than the outside of the older tree. The artwork we'll be focusing on for this activity is by Attila. It's a 30 foot high tree here filmed in sections and exhibited in the Hayward Gallery horizontally on its side. What you'll see as you look closely at it is each part of the tree has been filmed individually at different points of the day. So we get slight differences in colour because of the light and the sun shining through. We get slight differences in the movement of the tree because of the change in the wind. And when we see it all pulled together like this, it almost tells us the story of a day in the life of this tree. So what I'm going to ask you to do is take a photo out of your window of a tree, a tree in your garden or a street tree. As you can see here, I put a masking tape rectangle on my window so I can line up the camera in the same place every time. And what you're going to do is photograph that same tree at various times during the day. You can even go a bit further and photograph it at the same time every day over a number of days, over weeks, over months, just to see how the tree is developing. But what I really want you to focus on each time you take a photo is to think about what's happening with the tree at that moment in time. What does the sun look like? What's the sound like outside? What are the animals doing? The next stage will be to print out those photos. I've actually only printed out five of the photos. If you've got more, I'd suggest to start with just picking five of them. I've put them on top of each other and I'm making slices through those photos. So each one is sliced at the same place because essentially all the photos should be more or less exactly the same because your camera would have been in the same place. Then once you've got those slices of photos, you can jumble them up and rearrange them, taking the top from one photo, the middle from another, etc. Here I've done it with the slots being across the tree and I've laid the tree out horizontally just as in the artwork we're being inspired by but there's no reason you couldn't try something a bit different slicing in different directions or in different shapes and here I've lined up the five different versions I've got the five different photos all jumbled up to make a different collection if you don't have a printer another way you can do it is like I am here using an app called layout app layout allows you to pick photographs here I'm picking five again and then pick how you want them laid out and one of the options is to have it in these five bars which is the one I'm picking so we can zoom in on that with the five bars you then have the choice to click on each one and move it around 
Now, because I want to be able to move it up and down and left and right, I'm actually going to take, for example, in this bottom one here, I'm going to expand it very slightly to make sure it's zoomed in a bit to give me motion left and right as well as up and down. If I hadn't zoomed in, I wouldn't have been able to go left and right because the photo would be the width of the space that we've got to work in. I hope that made sense. Anyway, I'm lining up as best as I can the five photos as we go along. And then we have the option of picking, do we want a border included in the photo? Here it's a white border or no borders. Layout is a free app to download and use. You can use it on both Android and iPhone. But there are many apps that do this type of job. If you're watching this video at the time I've released it, you may well be in lockdown because of the coronavirus. So there are other ways you can measure the passage of time. You could, for example, photograph yourself or someone in your family over a number of days, then print out the photos and slice them up the same way we did with the tree, but jumble them up to create a person that's over a number of days or weeks. You could even do it with a face. A lot of people during this time are growing their hair or growing their beards, so you could see some sort of evolution or change over the period that you're locked down. Great, well I hope you found those activities useful. Like I said at the beginning, if you do make your own work, please do use the hashtag among the trees and share them on social media. We've got our tags at the end of this video for you to follow and also to share with us. That's the Hayward Gallery, the Southbank Centre and myself. Normally on this channel, I make videos about guitars, the guitars that I make myself and also videos about guitar maintenance and how to change your guitar and make it look a bit cooler. So if you are here for these activities videos, the art activities, I'm going to be putting them up during the lockdown period. So do subscribe and stay tuned for more of those. But if you are here for guitar stuff or you're interested in any way, also look out because over this period I'm going to be releasing more videos than normal. So for now, happy Earth Day.